If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here at AK Jedi Bro 95 coming at you guys with another video. So in this video, guys, it's going to be a double player gameplay. Now, I did manage to get a couple of games uh, in with these guys, but the first game uh, was, I ended up losing that game, and it just was a bit ugly game all the way around uh, for me. Well, both games were ugly, but this next one was especially ugly on both sides of the ball. It was just, it was very frustrating to play uh, this pat this game. Now, uh, like I normally do, I point out when the mistakes are mine and when I think EA is trying to fuck with me uh but kj wright is the first player i want to showcase he got an ltd this morning uh now honestly i actually like this kj wright card i think he's very very solid uh six foot four 246 pounds coming at with 96 95 speed 96 acceleration 99 tackle play wreck block 92 block shed and he also has 99 pursuit as well which is fantastic uh, he also does have uh, 99 impact block, if that matters. Uh, he does have 95 zone and 86 man. So you can put him in man coverage here and there uh, against weaker route runner and running backs. Uh, but, you know, the running back running back routes are just so good at beating man that it really is difficult to contain them in man coverage. But KJ Wright is still pretty good as a coverage linebacker. Uh, I obviously have to throw a lurker on him to make him jump for picks. And he actually did get a pick in the uh, game I ended up losing. He actually did end up, yeah, I actually do, did end up getting a user lurk with him. Uh, so there is that. But KJ Wright is pretty solid overall. Uh, then we have Noah Fant or Font. However you pronounce him, I don't necessarily know. Uh, but I picked him up because obviously he was part of the Russell Wilson trade. And he does not have Seattle chem yet. But he will be very soon. So... I'm definitely waiting on that right at the moment. So Noah Fant right now has 95 speed, 90, 87 short route, 90, 87 mid route, my bad, 90 short route. I can't read. Uh, but when he does get his Seahawks team team cam, he will be able to get 97 speed and 98 acceleration, which is very good for a tight end. 97 speed on a tight end is about Vernon Davis-esque. You're not going to get the same route running or the same like run blocking. Uh, but Noah Fant, uh you know giving that same similar type of speed you know he's pretty good all the way around uh but that's gonna do it for the vi for the intro guys uh let's get into the gameplay Alrighty, as we get into the game guys here's the top three so we have ray lewis Debo samuel and cooper cup for my opponent and then for myself we have sean springs kj wright and cam chancellor yes kj made the top three so uh real quick before we get deep into this game guys if you are somebody that likes high quality you know, if like insanely good offense, I'm going to ask you to turn away from this game immediately because there was a lot of mistakes in this game by both of us. You know, not just myself. I threw like maybe two interceptions in this game. It was pretty bad, but you know, overall it was, it could have been better. It could have been worse, but uh, right there, that should have been a pick by KJ Wright. So, but anyways, if you're one of those people that likes to watch clean offense and not, and, and not many people make mistakes, turn off the video now. Uh, this is not going to be the video for you. So second and 10, we set up some containers. We're just trying to make sure we don't get uh, beat deep. And Cam Chancellor comes down and makes a nice play. Cam Chancellor in this game was the MVP. Uh, he made a lot of good plays in this game. Uh, he didn't make. He, did, he also did get a few interceptions. He had a couple of picks. Uh, so third and 10 here, he just runs the ball. Uh, after that first one he had with Derrick Henry on that stretch, uh, he really did not. It, he really was not effective running the ball after the after that because we ended up getting uh, like maybe we ended up giving like like four or five like three four yards at most in some runs maybe even less so uh but on fourth and four here jimmy graham you know gets a nice knockout he does force team completion so first and 10 here we take over on downs from the 48 uh just trying to run the ball here you know see where he's trying to run when he's in on defense and go from there but uh, he says so he's in cover one whole press so he's just basically like playing man on this possession now he did mix up his plays a lot he did actually keep me off balance i actually was uh, flustered in a lot of ways uh speaking of flustered he was under russ was under pressure on that but i feel like if noah fant just puts his hand up and try to go for that pick to go for that ball it's it's a catch but this play here i had nothing open he played really really good defense here so i just take a sack uh unfortunately we're not in field goal range so i can't take my three uh, but fourth and 17 here, I just go for this because why not? Um, probably would punt, put him on his own on his own end line. But at the same time, though, it is what it is. I'm not really somebody who you know cares if we go for if we make the fourth down conversions or not, especially around midfield. You know, I, I really don't. If I'm deep in my own territory, like I'm on like a 20 yard line, and it's like fourth down, 
and like 13 or something like that or like fourth and 10 or something like that maybe even less i probably would just go i probably would just punt it but i don't know maybe i'm just weird like that actually i know i'm weird like that but uh, but, you know, second and nine here, we go to this, you know, go to cover three match. Cam Chancellor comes down, makes a great play, gets a pick on on Jerry Rice, and we end up taking over at our own 32-yard line. So uh, let me touch on K.J. Wright real quick because I know some people, that's basically what this video is about, is K.J. Wright really good. I happen to actually enjoy K.J. Wright, uh, not just because he plays very he played very well uh, for me. And, uh, by the way, close your eyes if you don't like mistakes. Okay, now that you're now the mistake is done, you can open your eyes. Anyhow, um, with KJ Wright, I actually do like him. I might hold on to him. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I genuinely might hold on to KJ Wright because I do like his size, being six foot four and a, at linebacker. You know, it's something that the team that's our team desperately needed because I know we have Junior Seau, and I'm actually debating on putting in J- Junior and KJ as my uh, sub linebackers, but I do also like Bobby because it's, it's Bobby Wagner. And also, you know, he just got released and I'm not ready to give up my attachment to him just yet. So, you know, there's that anyhow. Uh, but when it comes to KJ, I really did enjoy how he played. Uh, be, even though he is a pass coverage linebacker, he doesn't really have too much of a pass rush to him, which isn't necessarily what I would normally be doing on that play. Yes. Obviously I sent him out in a foot and they, um, I sent him out in a pass rush, which honestly, in that situation, I probably should learn to put him in coverage. Uh, but KJ, I like him. Uh, don't know if I'm going to hold on to him, though. Probably will wait for the Redux. Uh, or I might hold on to him until the Redux is announced, then sell him off, get the coins for that, then buy the Redux. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm definitely considering keeping KJ right. Uh, I really do enjoy this card. Plus, I have a lot of coins to spare. Right now, at the recording of this video, I'm just over 900,000 coins. So I really could just buy like someone like Levon Kirkland if I wanted to uh, and do and have him on the team, but probably not because, you know, he is another card that he's a card that I actually want to wait for the Redux for because, you know, he's like very small. He's like six foot one, but so that's why I'm waiting on the Redux for Levon Kirkland uh, and not KJ Wright because KJ Wright is a pretty big guy, even though he's 95 speed. Uh, but you see here, third and six, he does go, he does run the ball. He kicks his three. Uh, so we're up down three nothing and uh, this play right here guys is the absolute biggest reason why I no longer use acrobat because when you whiff holy piss do you whiff and DJ Reed whiffed pretty damn hard uh, to the point where he actually just gave up a uh, 75 yard TD so that's why I don't use um, acrobat that's why I would rather much rather use pick artist because it's cheaper and you don't have to uh, worry about the um, you know, the whiffing too badly. So uh, he does call a read option with Trey Lance here. So he does get a nice eight yard gain, second and two. We're going to go into a cover two here. Has a really good play design there. Uh, also, also because it's the fact that KJ Wright was in a zero yard hook curl. So he does play down a little, a lot more. So first and 10, we're sending the blitz at him. You know, when my opponent does no huddle, sometimes I like to just send a blitz at him to, you know, just, you know, make him, I guess, think fast. I don't necessarily remember where I was going with that, but uh, second and seven here, he does go empty. So we call Mike blitz. So we call mid blitz. And that's really the only time I call mid blitz is when my opponent goes empty or even Mike blitz. Actually, Mike blitz. I'll call a little more if I know you're sending five consistently, uh, but mid blitz, I'll call it on empty sets mainly uh, just because, you know, I'm trying to, uh, trying to get you to make a re- make a quick read and, you know, not pa- and, and panic basically. But, you know, Sean Alexander does get a nice pick up there. So, uh, second, uh, first and 10 here from the 31. Uh, we just throw the ball away here. Yeah, good coverage everywhere. Really was nothing open. So, we just get nice. Uh, we just throw the ball away here. Uh, second and 10, though, he did not have good coverage on this one. As you see, Jerry Rice does get open on the back line. Fires a deep. We fire a deep pass over to Jerry Rice. Night Train Lane could not make the catch. So, we're in for a touchdown. Obviously, I saved the clip for the Seattle Seahawks team, team video coming up here in a couple of days. Uh, by the way, uh, that, that video will be out tomorrow, uh, either then, either tomorrow or it's going to be all over the weekend, depending if we do get a U Ultimate Legend or not, because I do want to add that card to the team. My guess is we probably don't, won't, because we got LeBron Kirkland last week, so we're probably going to wait a couple of weeks to get our next UL, which I hope is Earl Thomas, but that's beside the point. But Cam Chancellor comes down and makes a nice play on the, on the deep, on the deep post, so 
Uh, but, you know, first and 10 from the 13 here. Obviously, we're now we're in position to basically put this game away. Because if we get another touchdown here, the game is over. But Russ takes a big hit. But luckily, he is a magician. He is just he is just God. And uh, he throws the ball accurately to Charlie Young, who gets in a first down. Uh, second, first and goal here. Obviously, you're trying to run it in. He does get a nice uh, stop there with his with his on his run defense there. So second and ten, a uh, second and goal. We're just again we're trying to punch this in with uh, Sean running up the middle. We do get closer, but we don't make it into there. So we call a timeout. Um, so now we move on to third and goal. This time we're in goal line. I call fullback dive. Warner makes a nice play. I wish I had QB sneak in my audibles because I would have just audible to QB sneak if I saw that and just snick, snuck it in. Uh, so in this situation, here's what's funny. Uh, I'm keeping this part in. So field goal, we're going to kick the field goal. It's going to be up and it's going to be good. However, if you notice real quick, Troy Palomalo is offside. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, cool. We're off. He's offside. We got a fresh set of downs from the one and we could try and punch it in. Oh, how wrong I was. I saw this coach suggestion being field goal. I'm like, why am I getting a field goal coach suggestion? Why not just punch it in from the uh, one yard line with one first down? And then that's when I realized about now, it's like, oh, wait, it's fourth and goal still? What the fuck? I thought it was first and goal. So we call timeout right about now, and we just end up kicking the field goal, going up by two possessions. And unfortunately, because uh, because I'm just terrible at editing uh, in this next part, uh, we do actually give up a touchdown towards the end of the half. Now, you're still watching the field goal, obviously, because I'm just talking about it. So don't feel like you're behind. Uh, but when it comes to the touch that we gave up a touchdown at the end of the half, unfortunately, uh, I ended up losing it in editing and I don't feel like fucking fixing it. So, uh, first and 10, we call a read option here or not, uh, RPO, just trying to get that inside stuff to not work. Uh, but it does. And we do get a nice shed here. So second and 10 here, uh, second and 12, uh, again, just moving over Golden Tate, you know, trying to figure out what he's in. He's in cover two. I think he was in cover two sink. Yes, he was. So we just hit the flat here. Uh, you know, with shot, Benny, just go forward for a few yards. So naturally I'm thinking, okay, he's probably going to stay in cover two sink because I got him a good stop. So third and nine here. Now this play right here, I want your guys' opinion. Was this my fault or was this EA fucking with me? Because here I throw it to Jerry Rice, but if you notice Jerry Rice just runs backwards instead of trying to go and catch the ball, but on the other hand, I did notice a little bit that I had Jerry Rice open underneath the, my opponent, my opponent's user. So that makes me wonder, was it my fault or was it his that made me just go and throw that pick? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on that one. Uh, but, you know, we give up a pick six. Now he's back in the game. So third and nine here. Uh, we're just trying to convert this first down. I don't know what happened to the first down play. Uh, but again, I'm not I'm too lazy to go back and fix it. I'm too lazy to go back and editing and fucking uh, get it. Uh, but first, uh, third and nine here, you know, just call it double drags. Just trying to get the first down. Hit Noah Fant underneath. Get the first down. Yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's frustrating. Don't get me wrong. Obviously, I'm playing on tilt right now. But I, I got to learn to calm down in certain situations like this. Uh, you know. That pass there, I it was a little scary, but I feel like I could have fit that in. So we did get a nice couple of tackle whiffs, and we do get in. We're actually basically in field goal range at this point, um, you know, with uh, how good Justin Tucker as a kicker is. Basically in field goal range, So, but now we're not anymore. Actually, I didn't realize. No, we're on the my, my 42, not my – oh, wait, no. Okay, no, because I ended up taking a sack. That's why. I ended up taking a sack instead of throwing the ball away. So that's my own fault. Uh, but second, third and 20 here, we do hit Rashad Penny on the out route and, uh, we do get, uh, to the 42 yard line. So now we're in field goal range. Uh, I'm thinking of going for it, but I ultimately just decided to kick the field goal because of how bad I've been playing. And I don't have the confidence to really go and pick up that first down, even if it is four yards, you know, just something that's telling me, Hey, you're not, and especially in a game where I'm throwing, making a lot of mistakes. Uh, I just don't want to take that chance of me making a, a mistake again and losing out on points. So. Um, but that play right there, I don't necessarily know what happened on that play. I think it's because I just called the wrong play. Uh, but first and 10 here from the 32, he does go to a nice, uh, he does go to a slants play, but he, we do end up bagging it and he does escape out of the pocket with Trey Lance. Uh, so first and 10, uh, we call Tampa two this time because he didn't know huddle. Uh, and this ended up being the final play of the game, guys. He would end up quitting after this. So he does hit Jerry. Unfortunately, he does juke into Jimmy Graham, and he does fumble the ball, which should happen more often, by the way. Uh, but that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.